In a stunning scientific claim, Chinese military researchers have supposedly unveiled the blueprint for a weapon that sounds like it was pulled directly from science fiction. Forget traditional missiles. Forget stealth fighters. Imagine a directed energy beam, an invisible wall of force, with 10 gigawatts of power. Now, imagine it firing not once, not twice, but over 126 million times a second. A weapon with this theoretical power and speed could render entire electronic defense systems obsolete in an instant. It represents a potential leap in warfare so significant that it challenges our understanding of what's possible. The most shocking part isn't just the what, it's the how. The answer supposedly lies in a little-known, mind-bending quantum phenomenon first explored in Soviet labs during the Cold War, a principle called, superradiance. Let's be clear. This isn't a weapon that just rolled out onto a parade ground. Recent news reports, citing a paper from the PLA Academy of Military Sciences, describe a new class of high-power microwave, HPM, weapon. For decades, HPMs have been a sort of holy grail for military planners, the ability to non-kinetically destroy or disable an enemy's electronics without firing a single bullet. They are the ultimate tool of electronic warfare. But they've always been held back by huge challenges. They required massive power sources, were often the size of a room, and couldn't fire fast enough to be truly decisive on a chaotic battlefield. This new theoretical Chinese design throws all those limitations out the window. On paper, the system is compact and powered by a relativistic electron beam. And the numbers from the computer simulations are just staggering. The weapon is designed to produce an initial pulse with a peak power of 16.6 gigawatts, settling into a sustained barrage of over 10 gigawatt pulses. Each pulse lasts less than a nanosecond, an incomprehensibly short burst of immense energy. And the most game-changing number of all. A repetition rate of 126 megahertz. That means 126 million pulses, every single second. This isn't just an improvement on existing technology, it's a complete paradigm shift. A rate once considered physically out of reach for a weapons-grade system may now be on the horizon. So, how is this even possible? How could a device generate such power and speed? The secret, as mentioned, is a bizarre and powerful quantum effect called superradiance. Think of it like this. Imagine one person in a huge stadium clapping. You'll hear a sound, but it's weak and easily lost. Now, imagine every single person in that 100,000-seat stadium clapping at the exact same instant, in perfect unison. The sound isn't just 100,000 times louder. The pressure waves add up coherently, creating an overwhelming, explosive boom that is orders of magnitude more powerful. Super Radiance does something similar, but with electrons and electromagnetic waves. In a normal microwave device, Electrons release their energy individually and randomly, like the crowd clapping out of sync. It's a lot of noise, but it's unfocused. A super-radiant device, through a cleverly designed structure, coaxes a group of electrons to release all their energy at the exact same moment. This creates a constructive interference pattern, an avalanche of radiation where the energy builds into a single, coherent, and titanically powerful pulse. This also helps explain the almost unbelievable efficiency claims in the research paper. The simulation showed a power conversion efficiency of up to 143%. Now, before you call the physics police, this does not violate the laws of energy conservation. You aren't getting more energy out than you put in. Instead, this figure likely reflects the phenomenal efficiency of converting the electron beam's power into a coherent microwave pulse a metric that highlights how effectively the electrons act collectively. Diving deeper into the scientific paper, the device is described as a compact relativistic electron beam generator. It fires a beam of electrons traveling near the speed of light through what's called a non-uniform slow wave structure. This structure is the key, it's what manipulates the electrons, preparing them for their synchronized energy release. The simulation specified an operating frequency of around 9.7 GHz, which places it squarely in the X-band of the microwave spectrum. This is no accident, the X-band is critical for modern military operations, used for high-resolution targeting radars, satellite communications, and data links for smart munitions. 
A weapon that can dominate this frequency band can, in theory, blind and deafen an opponent. Each 10 gigawatt pulse is incredibly short, lasting just 0.77 nanoseconds. This ultra-short duration is what allows for the mind-boggling repetition rate. It fires and resets millions of times a second, creating what is essentially a continuous wave of devastating energy pulses. For any electronic system in its path, this would be a nightmare, a relentless, overwhelming barrage that gives the target's circuitry no time to recover. Now, we have to pump the brakes and inject a serious dose of reality here. It is absolutely critical to understand that this 10 gigawatt, 126 megahertz weapon is a theoretical design backed by computer simulations. It does not exist in the real world yet. Moving from a successful simulation to a field ready, reliable weapon is one of the biggest challenges in military engineering. To put this blueprint in perspective, let's look at the actual, publicly reported breakthroughs in Chinese HPM technology. Recently, Chinese scientists successfully tested a different, compact HPM gun that was able to fire over 10,000 consecutive shots, a major achievement in durability. But its firing rate was in the range of 10 to 30 pulses per second. Let's just pause on that. The current, proven state of the art is around 30 pulses per second. The theoretical Super Radiance weapon is aiming for 126 million pulses per second. The gap between what is real today and what this paper proposes is astronomical. Furthermore, the engineering hurdles are immense. Managing the heat from such a device would be a monumental task. Providing it with a stable power source for gigawatt-level output, even in bursts, remains a massive challenge, though recent Chinese advances in bookshelf-sized power supplies show they're aggressively working on this problem. And then there's the issue of atmospheric interference. Firing a coherent beam of energy through miles of air to hit a small target is a challenge that is still being perfected. This is the frontier of military technology, where physics and engineering are creating the weapons of the next generation. It's a complex and rapidly evolving field. If you find this look at future warfare fascinating and want to stay ahead of the curve on these game-changing developments, make sure to follow our channel for the next deep dive. Even as a theoretical concept, the Super Radiance Weapon Blueprint tells us a lot about the direction of China's military ambitions. It signals a clear intent to leapfrog current technology and achieve dominance in what the PLA calls, electromagnetic spectrum warfare. If a weapon with even a fraction of these capabilities were ever fielded, the implications would be profound. First, consider missile defense. The primary challenge today is dealing with drone swarms or hypersonic missiles that can overwhelm traditional interceptors. A weapon firing millions of pulses per second could theoretically engage dozens of targets simultaneously, creating a nearly impenetrable defensive screen by frying their guidance systems. Second, its potential as an anti-satellite weapon. Studies have shown that a 1 gigawatt microwave beam is enough to inflict serious damage on satellites in low Earth orbit. This 10 gigawatt design could disable a satellite's solar panels, crash its computers, or sever its communication links from the ground, turning a billion-dollar asset into space junk without creating a massive debris field. This aligns with China's strategy of developing soft-kill counter space capabilities. Finally, it could be used for area denial. A vehicle-mounted or ship-mounted version could project a bubble of electromagnetic dominance, frying the electronics of any aircraft, drone, or munition that enters its range. It would be a key tool in what military strategists call anti-access, area denial. So, what have we learned? China has not secretly deployed a super weapon. Instead, its military scientists have published a theoretical blueprint that pushes the known boundaries of physics and engineering. They have laid out a pathway to a compact, 10-gigawatt high-power microwave weapon that could fire at an unprecedented rate of 126 million times per second, all thanks to the physics of super radiance. While the gap between this simulation and battlefield reality remains vast, the message is unambiguous. The global technology race is accelerating into new and uncharted territory. The weaponization of quantum principles is no longer a distant fantasy, it's the subject of intense, state-level research. This is a glimpse into the future of conflict, where victory might be determined not by the biggest explosion, but by the most powerful, and the most precise, invisible beam. 
What do you think the biggest impact of a weapon like this would be? A perfect defense that makes missiles obsolete, or an unstoppable offensive tool for electronic warfare? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.